Hello. In this video, I will explain you what is the inverse of matrix. Suppose a matrix M is a A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. First of all, you can calculate the inverse of a um, that type of matrix only, which is a square in nature. The first condition is M should be a square matrix, and the second condition is that determinant value of m should not be equal to 0 then one you can find out the inverse of matrix and the notation for the inverse is you put uh, minus 1 power of minus 1 so this is the notation for the inverse of matrix m to the power minus 1 so what is this how you calculate the inverse of matrix to calculate the inverse of matrix you first need to know what is a adjoint adjoint of matrix because to calculate the inverse of matrix you need to first find out the adjoint of that matrix and then only you can find out the inverse of matrix so what is the adjoint of matrix adjoint of matrix is two step procedure first cofactor make make cofactor and the second is transpose transpose it transpose now what is the adjoint of matrix suppose uh, a is a um, square type of matrix where the element is a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 and c1 c2 c3 it can be 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 or 4 by 4 or something like that so to find out the adjoint of matrix you um, it, it must be uh, it should be a square matrix so to calculate the adjoint of matrix you first find out you first need to Calculate the cofactor co for each element. So suppose uh, this is the matrix A. So this is the short notation. Adjoint of A is uh, A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3, and transpose of this. What is the meaning? This capital A1 is the cofactor for this A1. S and similarly, this B1 is a cofactor for this small B1. This B3 is a cofactor for this uh, capital B3 is the cofactor for this small B3. So just um, what I have done is that I have just replaced I have just replaced the element with its cofactors and then transpose it. Then you will get the adjoint of A. So so um, I just need to transpose it this is equal to so to make the transpose you remove this first row and make it first column a1 a2 a3 remove the second row and make it second column b1 b2 b3 remove the third column c1 c2 c3 so this is the adjoint of a Hey, this is the uh, these are the cofactors for element I will explain you how to calculate the cofactors so cofactor is basically a term from the determinant here is a this a determinant I want to find out the cofactor for any element so I want to just find out cofactor for G how can you find out the cofactor for G this is very simple cofactor for g is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j i plus j where i is the number of row and j is the number of column for that element and the determinant of remaining remove this row and column this is the row and column in which g is present and whatever remaining find out the determinant or determinant value of that so b c e f so so in this way you can um and you know the, what is the determinant value minus i to the power so minus 1 to the power minus 1 so in this uh, example this is uh, y plus j is first row and third first column and third row so 4 minus 1 to the power 4 minus 1 to the power 4 and this is the value 
B C E F so this is equal to this is plus so B F minus C E so this is the value for G the cofactor for the G B F minus C E similarly you can find out the cofactor uh, co for this element F how can you find this is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus a and uh, what is the i is the uh, number of row is second 2 2 plus 3 means 5 so it will be minus and determinant is remove this row and this row what will be remaining a b and g h so a h minus g b so for f so for f f1 is f1 is equal to f1 is minus 1 into remove this row and column what h minus gb h minus h minus gb this is equal to gb minus gb minus h so in this way you can calculate the cofactor for any element there is only a Two things you have to remember first is minus 1 to the power i plus j means no, uh, i is number of row and j is number of column and remove the delete the rows and columns in which element is present and whatever remaining you just find out the determinant value in this way you will get the cofactor for any element so you have understood how to calculate the cofactors for the elements so adjoint of matrix is put up uh, put the cofactors and then transpose it that's it then you will find the adjoint of any matrix any square matrix now finally how to calculate the inverse of matrix you have got the value of adjoint of matrix then you just multiply it adjoint of matrix with 1 by determinant of that matrix this is the this is the value of inverse of the matrix this is the inverse so this is the determinant value and uh, I hope you under, and you know how to calculate the determinant of any square matrix you just find out the determinant and you just multiply one by determinant value to the adjoint of that matrix you will get the inverse of that matrix now I will show you the example Suppose uh, A is a matrix uh, where element is this. So inverse of this matrix is 1 by A, uh, determinant values of A and uh, transpose of adjoint, adjoint of means uh, in multiply, uh, 1 by uh, determinant value of A and uh, adjoint of A. So you need to calculate the adjoint of A. So here in this example uh, is the matrix. Um, I need to calculate the adjoint of this matrix A. So adjoint is um, first of all you put the cofactors for each element. So here the cofactor for one is plus one into sixteen minus nine minus nine. How you can calculate this? You remove the column and row. You remove the column and row for the one and what whatever the remaining element uh, you just find out the determinant so 4 into 4 is 16 and 3 into 3 is 9 so 16 minus 9 similarly for 3 is cofactor is minus 1 to the power i plus j becomes uh, minus 1 and uh, remove the row and column and what 1 1 3 4 determinant is 4 minus 3 for 3 minus 1 to the power i plus j is plus 1 and remaining um, element is 1 4 1 3 determinant value is 3 minus 4 so in this way I have just put all the cofactors here and then then I need to transpose so this is the transpose notation here so so this is equal to this is this is equal to 1 by determinant values of a and 7 minus 1 minus 1 minus 3 1 0 minus 3 0 1 
and transpose of this element. So this is equal to 1 by a transpose of this. How can um, the way of calculating the transpose is very simple. Just move the row and make it column. 7 minus 1 minus 1. The first row becomes first column. The second row becomes second column. Minus 3, 1, 0 and minus 3, 0, 1. So, and you need to find out the determinant values of A. So, A is equal to if you know how to calculate the determinant 1, 3, 3, 1, 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 it is equal to 1 into 16 into 16 minus 9 minus 3 into 4 minus 3 plus 3 into 3 minus 4 is equal to 1 so determinant is equal to 1 so the inverse is inverse of matrix A is 1 by 1 into this similar to this so 7 minus 3 minus 3 7 minus 3 minus 3 and minus 1 1 0 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 1 it is equal to 7 minus 3 minus 3 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 0 1 so this is the inverse value of a so in this way you can calculate the inverse of any square type of matrix of which determinant value should not be 0.